Brian and Kelly back for another installment of the 2020 BrewTubers Yeast Experiment. And we are going to be doing some more beer reviews. Uh, this is a Berserk, Maniacal Yeast Berserker. I'm not 100% sure who brewed this. I'll put it down here with the yeast name. Uh, there's no name on the label here, so I can't really tell you for sure who brewed it. But I'll, like I said, I'll leave a name down there. So let's jump into it. This is number eight. Yeah, number eight. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it finally. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly's counted down. She's like, are we done yet? No, it's just every night after work and stuff. I like drinking beer, but not getting videoed and asked about it. Or it's like a job. Wah. Once you're in, you're in. You have to be jumped out. <laughs> it's just your industrial strength with this stuff. And I'm kind of like, okay. I know. I every know. other week. Uh, let's check out the nose on it oh i'm actually liking this one definitely getting a lot of citrus right off of it um i can actually smell the citra on this one it, it smells some, like commodore perry i don't know that's a that's an ipa from great lakes but mm -hmm. i'm definitely picking up the citra i haven't really picked up the nice. citra or centennial or not a lot on uh, yeah, most of them i don't know it. if it's my nose or whatever but is that one kind of citrusy though Commodore um, Perry? not so much Okay, then smell uh, I just yeah, don't this, drink IPAs. This, this smells really good. So let's get a taste on it. Oh, it does smell like it. What'd you smell? Citrus a little. Yeah, but it's citra. Citrus? <laughs> it smells like citra. But... Wow, that's neat. Hmm. It's almost spicy like a Christmas. Yeah, wine. this definitely... I'm not 100% sure about the Berserker yeast, but I think it's definitely one of those... Gone Berserker um, tastes all by itself. Like. It must have some kind of bread or something in it because it, I'm definitely getting that kind of a little sourness to it. And mm. there's like a little bit of a spice on the back end, mm -hmm. like you said. Um, almost uh, like clove almost, maybe, or no? Mm, I don't know. It's mm. definitely it's definitely got some, some, spice, some interesting spiciness on the end of it there, for sure. Um, Sumac. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not Sumac is rocking the nation. We're not doing that again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm picking up the citra this time on this one for sure. And uh, man, it's, it, it smells good. It actually, it, it tastes mm -hmm. really good. And it doesn't have a lot of bitterness. No. Um, I mean, it's almost like non-existent bitterness, yeah. at least for me. Yeah. Um, okay. I didn't see when this one was... Okay, so it was brewed on 2.8 kegged on 213 and then bottled on 226 so mm, almost a month ago so i mean it should be interesting pretty fresh i mean you would think <clears throat> we can't keep a beer around here for a month yeah right <laughs> exactly mm. that's good though I, I do like it yeah it's neat but it's not i don't think it's a west coast ipa i mean like we we've, we've tasted those before yeah. Um, what does it taste like beers. to you? What kind of beer that you've had? Man, I don't know. It's maybe like a mild sour, almost. No, I mean a beer that you've had. Oh, you I have haven't had anything that tastes like this. Oh, okay. I don't think anyways. I mean, I'm not a huge sour fan anyways, but... This um, doesn't really taste sour to me. Really? I, I'm just picking up some kind of sourness on it a little bit, and I don't know. I'll have to look at the Berserker profile. Did you brush profile. your teeth today? Did I brush? Yeah, a couple times. Okay. <laughs> You never know what's really happening in there. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> All right. Well, we're going to finish this up, make some notes, and uh, we'll be oh, on to the Oh, what's the percentage? Next. What's the percentage? It, it, we don't have any information on the... Oh, percent. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, we do have uh, 1066 for the starting gravity, 1012 for... The final gravity, and that puts us at a. Uh, it was fermented at 90 degrees, so yeah, this has got to be. This has got to be some kind of. Excuse me, this has got to be some kind of maybe a kvike or something like that. I think, fermenting at 90 degrees, it's got to be. So, 7.09% uh, ABV. Holy moly! So it's a strong one, but uh, not a bad beer. I just I don't think that the Berserker is probably the best for a west coast ipa which is kind of what we're trying to figure out so I, you know this one's Came probably good, not a a first pick for a west coast ipa for me i don't know about you i mean you're not a big west coast ipa drinker anyways, mm -hmm. but. not a big ipa drinker <laughs> i mean I, i'll taste it and stuff and yeah taste, but all right so we're gonna make some notes and uh, we'll be back
I wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the BrewTubers 2020 Yeast Experiment, Imperial Yeast for their top-tier half stainless steel mash paddle sponsorship, and Hopsteiner, deep in the heart of Yakima Valley, producing quality hops for over six generations. Visit their website at hopsteiner.com. Quick, what am I? Oh, a fermenter. <laughs> All right, up next we've got a beer from Cooper Brew Co. Yeah, or Cooper Brew Co., yeah. Um, this is a uh, gentleman by the name uh, PD Photo, I think, is what his uh, handle is on Instagram. And I have to, I'll put his YouTube channel above the uh, yeast descriptor here. Uh, 2020 yeast experiment. He used the Imperial A24 dry hop. Oh, I like that yeast. I actually used it on a, a double IPA that I did. So OG on this was uh, 1066. Final gravity was 1023. Wow, that's actually pretty high. Um, hmm, I wonder. I wonder about the mash temperature on that. Mm. Uh, 5.6% ABV. Uh, brewed on 27. Kegged on 216, doesn't say when he bottled it or anything like that, but uh, there's the label on it. <laughs> so let's uh, get into it here. Oh, nice little hiss <laughs> on it. Alrighty. Let's Sorry. Oop. Long Stay day. Awake. Long Stay awake. Stay awake. Long <clears> day. Stay awake. Oh wow, that one uh, that one dropped out really nice and clear too. Unreal. Looks good. All right, let's see here. I'm suspecting this one will probably have a little bit of sweetness to it, just because mm -hmm. of the smells like it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely getting the citra on this too. Mm -hmm. um, some of the centennial. Um, I mean, yes, yeah, centennial. The it's definitely like bitter. a fruit bomb for sure. I mm -hmm. mean, it's which I believe the dry hop yeast is supposed to be uh, a yeast that accentuates dry hopping. So um, definitely is doing that from the nose, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not picking up a lot of malt character like I have in some of the other ones. Just mainly, mainly just like uh, peach and pineapple, pineapple and mango and I mean just a bunch, you know fluffy pineapples and <laughs> they're the best kind to get hit with. <laughs> All right, let's let's get a taste of it. Hmm. Mango. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I am getting some bitterness on this one, unlike um, the last one that we just had there. But I have a mango finish. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has that, that type of finish to it. There's a, it's pretty well carbonated. I'm, I'm getting just like a little tiny bit of a carbonic bite to it. Yeah. Um, just like, like a, yeah, a little on the back of the tongue mm -hmm. there, just a little bit. But uh, definitely is clean. I mean, I, I'm not picking up any odd characteristics from the yeast or anything like that. Um, definitely a clean Crisp. fermentation. I'm not really even, you know, the higher gravity at like, <coughs> what was it, 1023, I think it was? Mm -hmm. That higher gravity is definitely, it's not coming across too sweet, in my opinion. Mm -mm. So, it smelled sweet at first, though. Yeah, I mean, I smell a lot of citrus in that, you know, mm -hmm. pineapple. It even smelled and, like sweet, not just citrus. Yeah, like... orange. <laughs> Excuse me. Orange, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up a bunch of different citrus in it for sure, so... It's that little bzz in the back of your tongue. Yeah, yeah, that, that little little bit of carbonic bite from the the uh, the carbonation. All right, we're gonna take some notes on this one and move on to the next one. Look, I can write and look at the camera at the same time. Well, you are talented. I just can't read it. Holy <laughs> crap! Yeah, he can't read it now. Can't read it anyway. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, on to the next one. Up next is uh, Woodshed Brewing Company, and that is uh, Yeasty Boys 2020 Yeast Experiment by Dennis Penn. Uh, his wife's name is Katie. Hi, Katie. I see him commenting on stuff all the time. <laughs> uh, brewed on 120. Or, I'm sorry, brewed on 2-1. My dyslexia is kicking in. Kegged on 214, canned on 223. Uh, starting gravity was 1062, a little tiny bit low, 1015 for the final gravity, ABV of 6.2. And this is the... What's the yeast again? Uh, bootleg Biology uh, Brewlosophy Blend. So there's another podcast uh, that has a connection to a yeast manufacturer and they've created their own blend. So Marshall from Brewlosophy, remember? Mm -hmm. uh, what was it? I'm to 
Oh, uh, he sang that. I yeah, thought, he, wow, you just <laughs> sweet. You the beer's yeah, kicking it was, in. It was karaoke from uh, what was that Portland? Remember? Yes. Yeah. But so, anyways, what is this yeast again? Uh, boot, uh, bootleg biology. It really is. Okay, yeah, bootleg, bootleg biology. biology. Brewlosophy blend, sixty-four yep. degrees for seven days before cold crashing. So there's the there's the label. Got the Brewed Brewers logo on it. <clears throat> Got uh, the nice wood shed on the label there. And this is a big can, so I like big cans. Yeah, because you have big hands. That's right. All right, let's take a look. <clears throat> we'll pour them in here. Oh, thing is full, full, full. All right. Wow, oh, that's nice. That's yours. That's yours. This is mine. I said get yours. I thought you said that's yours. No, I said get yours. <laughs> yeah, that's yours. <laughs> this is mine. It's cross. Arms. Alrighty. Mm, looks good. Let's take a look. Oh, I've got a nice mm -hmm. uh, one finger head on it there. Well, at least mine does. I guess yes. I didn't pour. No, it it's gone down a little bit. It was nice. Uh, color is, is, looks really good. Mm, it's um, nice orange. It might be a little bit darker maybe because of the haziness. Another blanket one. Another blanket one? Like a... Uh, it's like a, a dank thing on the back. Huh. I'm... My nose must not be working too well because oh. I'm not getting a ton of aroma off of this one at all. Really? I am, but then it goes on the back. I might be... Oops, I keep wanting to... I'll wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of the citra, mm -hmm. maybe some centennial in there. Very faint, though. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of dankness, like I think you said that, right? Yes, I did twice at least. <laughs> Ready? Well... <laughs> No cheers. <laughs> Selective here. What in the world is that? This one almost has like a um, Belgian -y type characteristic to it, too, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like a heavy, heavy one. Yeah. Not just like. It's like, whoa, this is really heavy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not getting um, mm. a lot of malt. I'm not getting a lot of hop characteristic. Um, oh, I guess I take, I take that back. I'm getting some sweeter malt characteristic yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not getting a ton of hops. I'm, and and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know this. Uh, I like it though. It's neat. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a decent beer. Uh, I, again, I think this is another one of those that might not be the best for a West Coast IPA, quite honestly, because I'm not getting a ton of bitterness out of it myself. Are you? No. I'm not getting any better, but um, fruity and malty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, mean, I, th almost I think looks I get malty. a little bit of that too. Um, it's a little dark. So yeah, another another interesting mm -hmm. uh, yeast. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that I've done this actually, because I haven't I haven't, I, you know, I, you get stuck in this rut sometimes of all these yeast. Yeah, and I've never use. done this. I mean, I've just had some stuff that we've, with our hops. That yeah, I mean, I, you know, you have those go-to yeasts and... Um, and then we put them with the yeasts. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have the go-to yeast that you like all the time and without, you know, a lot of times it's kind of hard to, to brew a five-gallon batch and use the yeast <laughs> you've never used before, don't know anything about. So this has been really educational to me mm -hmm. so and far. And I want to keep our notes. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and we're going to put them all up on the website too. And uh, well, I mean, for us, they're going to do. Yeah, we will. They're going to do like a graph and stuff talking about that shows what the different characteristics are. I don't know exactly what all the details are going to be on that, but it'll be fun. Uh, once we're all done, everybody's all done with their reviews and their score sheets, and we put everything up there. Um, take a look over at the BrewTubers website, uh, BrewTubers.com. Check out the yeast experiment. Probably, I'd say, probably by the end of the month, maybe first or second week of April. We should have all of our score sheets done and in, so you can kind of go over there and see what the impressions are across uh, all the brewers that were involved with it and uh, see what we thought about it and maybe make an informed decision on what type of yeast you want to use and maybe break out of that rut. And I definitely don't want to end the video without th saying thank you to all of our patrons. Uh, we certainly appreciate all the support. And again, you know, you're seeing this video a little bit early because you are part of that patron squad. So certainly do appreciate the support. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. This has been Brian. And Kelly. For Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.